Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Imperator Rome. We are playing as Egypt, and, um, well, it doesn't look like we can actually get the achievements, I think, because I started the game before the final version was released, the, uh, the release version was released. So, there's not a whole lot that I can do about that, but... What we can do is still try and go for the decision to reunite Alexander's empire. And we can still play out the scenario uh, that, would, that we wanted, that I wanted. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, I've got 26 civic power. I could uh, continue expanding over here. We've got, uh, yeah, war exhaustion is uh, part of it. It's fine. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the gods. It's actually only 102, so let's go ahead and reduce that. <clears throat> and let's see it, how that goes. Oh, there we go. We're at 100%. Yep, that eliminated all of that, uh, that stuff. Okay, so we have actually taken four pops so far. No pops were killed. And we are at 100%. Alright, super peace. And we are going to start with you. You become a feudatory. And I'll take your money. Thank you. I'm doing this mainly to get the uh, um, individual money, so... I don't know if I'd get it all. Feudatory, and I'll take your money as well. Thank you very much. Right, go ahead and get over there. Come back there. Okay, first of all, let's come over here, you come over here, and once you get on board, are you seriously going over there? Just, just go that way, please. Alright, we've got blockaded ports, we've got pirates somewhere. Right down there. Hmm. Well, we'll take care of that in a moment. We're only a five. You're a seven. You're an eight. I can turn that off. Alright, you come over. Oh. Alright, well, you come here. We've got two blockaded ports. Well, that's really annoying. Um, what do we actually have? 1% spawn chance. I don't really want to make any more boats. Also, as long as we are here... Let's see, more granaries in the deserty regions. just eliminates them when they uh, vanish like that. You go in there. Come over there and then we'll take care of that. Alright, so... 
we might actually be pretty close to being able to just, uh, straight up... Yeah, let's just, uh, improve our opinion with you right now. You, it'll be a while. We can improve opinion with you now. Improve opinion with you. Start integrating all of those guys. Uh, who else do we have? We just took Egypt, uh, Rhodes' land, so that's fine. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, you... Breaking a truce. Okay, we do have a truce. I don't actually have a cast a spell eye on you, huh? Gonna have to do something about that. Getting our manpower back, which is nice. And with the ships, let's go take care of these pirates. Yeah, I'll give you a military access. It's fine. A woman. Is that? Nope, it's a he. He just has long hair. Uh, you want to import fish. Sure. That's okay. Uh, Amasis Galestus the Wolf. Governor of Upper Egypt. That is kind of a shame. Let's go over there because it looks like that's where he's going. Alright. You... Could be a filleted if we can get that. We can. He's only five finesse, and I don't really know what the five, what the finesse does. Bleed them dry. Yeah, we don't want you to be on bleed them dry. What are we looking at? We do not need uh, that, but cultural conversion would be good. Alright, I can get uh, two more trade routes as well. So many trade routes. All of Sparka is fine, and... What else do you need? You got livestock, no grain. Let's go to Central Delta. There we go, so that's taken care of. It's going to be a while before I uh, get any more inventions, for sure. Ozalkis falls ill. Ozalkis Lagged has sent word that, the, that he has fallen ill. Uh, perhaps if he is wealthy enough, he will seek treatment of his own volition. Otherwise, we could always step in if his condition worsens. So, it's like a hundred gold to seek treatment for other people. But for me, for the ruler, 481 gold. So we'll see how it goes. So I've got a truce with you until 522. Alright. Uh, you're guaranteed by Li Han. Which is okay, because I would not mind going to war with them as well. Jeez, oh, these places are just dying there. <laughs> There's some gemstones here, which is pretty nice. Question of competence. No one can freely insult the Basilius. Let's go find out who that... Who is, uh... Speaking ill of us. National citizen happiness? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get some... Some of that. Import papyrus. Uh, no. Ooh, I'm keeping that. Sorry. Uh, Syria, Cirestis, Civil War ends. 
the bitter civil war in Syria Serestus has finally come to an end with the loyal forces of Wardat Asher bit Ayabuti utterly crushing the rebel armies led by Adad Atir bit Balati and his scheming cohorts. I don't recall Wardat being part of a, a name that I've seen. Obviously the, the other part of her name is Asher, the uh, Assyrian city god, and yet she is Hellenic. Uh, whereas he has Adad, another one of the uh, the deities. The bloody battle of Batne decided the war, where when loyalist forces broke the rebel lines and slaughtered them to a man. The outcome of this war is largely irrelevant to us, as we do not consider Syria Cirestis as either a friend or enemy. Nevertheless, we ought to be careful now that their nation is on track to recovery. Slanderer spills all. Perhaps she could be run o one over. It's the consort. Sure. And yet it is occupied by the Seleucid Empire. How are you doing? You got 24 triremes, 64 cohorts, 1370 pops, and 127 cities. That's a bit of a drop. I got 271, 3000 pops. They have 557 and 7800 pops. Take a look at the population map mode. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's over 100 here. 77. But it is, uh, it is starving. 0.01. Yeah, there are some uh, starving cities out there. This one is pretty large, but it is also starving. I think I may have the most populous city in the world. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get you over there. And dock up my uh, ships. Okay. So we're, f we're working on uh, improving their opinion. We're working on improving their opinion. Then we can integrate them all. Um. Ankmachus Zosid died of a heart attack. Uh, he was general of the 11th Stratos. Okay. We don't have uh, any scorned families, so it's not that big of a deal. You want base medals from Cyprus? I will accept that. Uh, let's see. Lycia... You have an alliance with the Seleucid Revolt. You're guaranteeing Bithynia, Syria, Serestis, and Phrygia Epictetus. So you could definitely go against uh, Lycia. There's not a whole lot stopping us, really. I mean, it's 11 cohorts. Um. There is a fort there. There's a fort there. There's a fort there. Okay, whereas you guys are all under Phrygia, which I don't really want to get involved in Phrygia right now. What kind of uh, terrain are we looking at up here? All right, what about uh, supply? Supply is definitely enough for the my preferred army composition. That's probably their capital right there. Yep, capital city. All right. It's good for manpower. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of wood there as well. What other trade goods do we have? Some salt, some fish, glass. There's some more honey. Honey, hemp. I don't know if I have hemp yet. Lots of wood. Lots and lots of wood. Yeah, this would be a pretty good uh, strategic place. Plus, I would get a good border with Phrygia um, for when I eventually go to war against them. Uh, let's see. So... Fabricate claim. Lycia, Pamphylia, Cilicia, Trachea. Um, the easiest to hold, actually, I think would be this one, just because there, there don't appear to be any forts in there. So let's go for the province of Pamphylia. There we go. Okay. Uh, supply out here. Yeah, I've got some good supply out here, so... Why is there no way to put people on a boat when the boat's docked up? Okay, get on out there. Let's actually just, uh, let's see, that's there, so there's one port there, there's one port there, one port there, one port there, one port there, alright, I do not have enough boats to blockade all of them, maybe my vassals will do something about that though, alright, I don't think I really need to stage landings from Cyprus though. Come up there, we'll come up there, and probably going right to the capital would be good. This is, of course, going to get us more war exhaustion and stuff like that, but we're doing pretty well on, on province loyalty, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, you go up there, you... Thing. Yeah, let's go in from one of these, I think. Wait until all of our ships are up there. On the border. There we go. Alright, there are some boats there, so I will probably go in first. Um, you know what? I've been clicking the wrong things. I should have been going with uh, Trireme Offense on a lot of those things. That's fine. Okay. Declare War. The Seleucid Revolt will come in as well, which is fine. Uh... can take some stuff here. Let's get you over there first. Uh, the Persian regional power of Lycia folded. They folded to the great... Uh, to the threat of war from the Hellenic major power of Phrygia. And gave them the city of Telemsos. Well, it's one less thing to blockade. It's a little bit annoying, though. Decent-sized thing. 
Anyway, uh, declare war. Let's take Pamphyla. We cannot call in the Seleucids, but that's okay. There we go. How's our score doing? Rome and Moria are way ahead of us. Way, way ahead of us. I mean, even with that starting situation divider 500, that's, that's pretty impressive. 403. We actually have the same starting score divider, huh? so we can work around that way. And come in here. How many troops do you actually have? 12 cohorts. Yeah, not too worried. It is only the two of them. Okay, pop up there. Pop over there. And how... I guess I'll head in that way and then go this way. No idea where their troops are. They're not currently in other wars. Now our vassals do have some ships, so they might bring troops over, and that would be wonderful. Just have, you know... Little guys running around, sieging some stuff would be fantastic. If I can take the... Oh, I got an oratory advance. If I can take the... Uh, um, yeah, yeah, there we go. Of course, we're not going to get much out of that, but... Did I actually go this way? Nope, I got to go take the, uh, the fort. All right. Two ships, where are they going? Going out this way. They lost one ship. They're going back. I guess I'll just keep uh keep pummeling you. Yeah, I hope you go get some more tr troops, because uh you can't actually siege with that. I should probably go head over here and take that. They lost five ships, and we captured you. Excellent. You have pretender support. Right, let's... You, I don't care about you. Alright. Um... Let's just head over this way, because... I think we should get the fort, we should get the capitals. Got some martial advances, and now I can get a military tradition. It's now a lot cheaper. Military colonies, I don't think I care about. Morale of armies plus 5% is good. Cohort starting experience and experience decay, I th suppose, is pretty good. Like cavalry offense is very nice. Let's get the uh, morale of armies. I don't really care about the recruit cost. Uh, let's see. Thebes is cancelled. Military. I don't care about that. Alright, so you've hired these guys. But they're black flagged. I don't know that you can do anything. I suppose if they get access through through these areas. When I take the uh, um, up to thirty-one cohorts now. When I take the like the capitals and the forts, 
Oh, 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 oh. I saw someone, but oh well. I think it was just 1k. Starving Pops in Rhodos. Really? Looted. Oh, I guess that's what's causing it. Alright. Alright, so they did get access. They are coming through. We're over there. These guys are probably going to get hit first. Minister of Excellence. Tarian Magid, a, in a fine display of financial acumen, has made significant alterations for the national budget. We should expect to see much better revenue this year. He deserves to reap the rewards himself. His loyalty is good. But, uh, yeah, I'll take national tax plus 10%. Thank you. Okay, you are bringing some uh, troops over, so that's very nice. I'm kind of tempted to hire those guys just so that we have some more uh, armies around. You know what? I got a lot. Disbanding would cost 126 gold. I mean, we really have enough, so... Alright, you just go siege that down then. Because I can pull him out from there. Yeah, let's go here. There's 12k, alright. It's really a shame that you can't do anything about the, uh... The starving. Siege of Plosses 1, alright. Uh, we've got one pop to Alexandria, one to Rhodos, and three to Salamis. Pretty nice. All of these will start, uh, flipping as well. Let's... Head up here. Let's just go up to the uh, the capital. Uh, but it is uh, about time to end the episode. Uh, when we come back next time, we will continue our war. All right, there is a 12k army there. It's 2k. Th okay, yeah, it's probably probably should go reinforce this. I didn't ex didn't really expect there to be. Uh, troops coming in from that way. Uh, we're done here. Let's go over there. I did kind of forget about this area. Might bring down uh, some of my ships again. Let's see, I don't know that you're doing anything since that port's been occupied. Not seeing any war score for blockades, actually. So. Yeah, let's come down here. You. We'll do that one, and then we'll take this fort. And uh, when we come back next time, we'll see if we can save these guys. And in fact, let's go ahead and force march. And get in there a little bit faster. See you next time, everyone.